Hello everyone. It's been a busy time just lately and I haven't had a chance to catch up with blogs. So um, we've, we've had a rally last week and that just, I don't know where the time went, but I'll tell you a bit about that a bit later on. But at the moment I've got my official hat on again and uh, I'm actually out judging classic and vintage tractors at uh, the West of England Plough Match. So I thought where better to get some tractor pictures than there so so me and Ernie are here we've got our cup of coffee and uh, or I've got mine <laughs> and we're gonna go out it's not a very nice day I've got to say the forecast is a bit better so uh, we'll see what comes up but I'll uh, try and show you all the tractors there's not there's not hundreds here by any means but there's some nice examples and they're working examples so We'll see. They've all got players behind, funnily enough. <laughs> but uh, we'll see. It's the first time I've, first time I've actually done an official judging. I've I've been out and done it at rallies and things like that. But this is working tractors in their best, best clothes, I suppose, and the best way to do it. So some good examples there. There's nothing pristine here that I've seen so far. I've driven into the field with a car because. It's, although the forecast is sun, sunny spells, it looks more like rainy spells to me, so I'm not going to get soaked for the sake of it. And it's a lot, awful lot of standing around. Whether I should still be here for the judging or, or the prize giving or not, I don't know. But um, anyway, we'll, we're going to have a mooch in a minute, so uh, I'll see you directly. Let's have a quick drive around now to just show what's going on. I've walked around all these first, but it's too windy to speak outside, so. Nice little T20 there. This is a nice one, a 6410 Ford. It's a 1991 tractor, um, been restored a little while now, local tractor here. Nice little This is Alfie, he's 14. He's come up here at his first go. It's 
a nice little 35 here. I think I'll get it and film this one.
petrol power of an engine and it's now got a perk intention in it. I've just been talking to the gentleman there that's had it, thinks it could be in the now. But, uh, so it's not very heavy, I think it's probably made 30 other way. Sure, I would have thought it was a bit heavier than that. But lovely traction is really probably the most of the Okay, so that's it. That's my uh, spell at the plow match. It's actually quite a few days later now before I've had the chance to finish this, but it was quite enjoyable. I didn't stop to the end of the judging. It um, The rain stayed off all the time they were plowing, but it did actually start to rain quite heavily. So I thought I'd got better things to do than <laughs> stand around in the rain. <laughs> so what did I choose for the winner? Um, well, in the classics, I picked that um, 35X, the one that I spoke about that had been restored 15 years ago. It was, diff it was a difficult decision because there was a lot of nice tractors there, but that was 
in such good order and it obviously been looked after and they it was a working tractor they did use it but um i just thought that was that was nice and although i'm not a massy man at all i did like the look of that and for the vintage ones there was uh, actually a nice standard fordson there which i didn't film that i don't know why i missed that but it was um, very nice there wasn't an awful lot of vintage ones there really a lot of t20s which qualified um but it was pre-60 stuff so there was you know most of it was outside of that which was where the classics came from but for the vintage one i chose that clear track crawler i thought that was really nice original machine sounded beautiful it it was only ever used for playing matches and things like that but it was in it was in good working order so so that was my choice um it, it all comes down to to what's what if i've got to choose the best one on the field it was that ford 6410 was it um that was really nice uh that's one i would have happily taken home so that's it that's uh, where we are with it nothing much more to say i was going to talk about the rally but um i think i'll probably make it i didn't take a lot of do a lot of films there but there's a few films there which i'd like to do i've got a few things i'd like to say about the rally and where rallies are going in the future and this isn't really the place for it so um i will say the rally <laughs> the rally for half of it was very good we had um we started on the Friday night at six o'clock and uh, we had an excellent evening. The new ideas work well, tractor pulling under floodlights and things like that. And um, and then a Saturday was excellent. We had loads of people there, but Sunday, oh, that was the stuff of nightmares. It was just rained and rained and rained. And uh, we did our best, but it got to, we put, three things on in the ring we finished with the dancing diggers and it was just making such a mess and i said this is no good we've got to call it a day so so we called it off so you know from being what looked like being the best rally ever it turned into not the biggest disaster ever because we we had a good day we won't we won't lose money but we're not going to make much this year which is a shame but um you know that's the perils of rallies i'm afraid so we haven't done the final tot up on it yet. There's still bills coming in, and pretty well with the exception, they're all more than I expected. You know, they've everything's gone up again. It's horrendous it is. Don't matter what you go for now, it's it's getting dearer and dearer. So I'm afraid we're gonna have to start thinking about how these rallies are run because there's there's too much expense and too much risk in it now. Anyway, um, I'm, <laughs> that's a low note, note to finish on isn't it so great player match enjoyed seeing it enjoyed seeing all the things there um i didn't film as much as i thought i'd film but i've picked out the best bits for you not a lot of talking i'm afraid because it, it was just too windy to to do anything but it'll give you a flavor of it if you're interested in plowing there'll be things there interesting old tractors there's quite a few there uh it's a player match that i've not i didn't go in every time but i have been in it and um i have come away with a trophy on three occasions how about that it was the best work with a three for a plow and obviously only one there <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to if you want to win in that plow match take a three for a plow right that's it um i'll see you directly cheers